the tea with Gomer. He was late, but the folks there were friendly and the food was something great. The only one who tried jet stew was old Mr. Crone. Now he's in hospital, but he'll soon be coming home. Now Gomer wants Jed to think about the way he's living But Jed ain't too impressed by all this preaching Gomer's given Jed's more into science, he figures that's the way He's calling to see Gomer the very next day You should ought to be more careful leaving your things lying around like that. Somebody could get hurt, you know. Hey, where'd you find that thing, Jed? I've been looking for that for weeks. Oh, gosh, you gone. Well, oh, here's gone, but I done bring you some eggs. Oh, thank you kindly, Jed. Wow. I just love scrambled eggs. Oh, well, that is good, ain't it, Gomer? Hey, why don't you just sit down here a spell? Oh, thank you kindly, Gomer. I don't mind if I do. Hey, Gomer, what are you doing there, anyhow? Oh, I got my Bible, Jed. I've been reading my Bible. Oh, Gomer, don't tell me you still believe in all that God and Jesus stuff. Oh, I sure do. Oh, Gomer, you are so dumb. You know, I reckon... You're so dumb that you even believe that God made me and you. Yeah, that's right, Jed. God made me and he even made you. Oh, Gomer, that is dumb. I suppose you know you're just advertising your lack of education here. What do you mean, Jed? Well, everybody knows our ancestors, they used to be fish, didn't they? Fish? Yeah, fish swimming around in the sea. Of course, this were billions and billions and billions of years ago. And then one day a couple of them done slimed their way up onto the land and over billions and billions of years they done grew arms and legs and they became our ancestors. Oh, that's hogwash, Jed. God created the fish and he created us too, but he done created us separate. Oh, Gomer, you've got a real problem here. But hey, you are in a bit of luck. Of course, I have just been reading in this here old scientific magazine about all of this stuff, and I can set you straight. Now, Gomer, first off, God did not create the fish. He didn't? Oh, no, billions and billions and billions and billions of years back before that, the fish, it done evolved from a little single-cell animal a bit like an amoebe. Why is an amoebe, Jed? Oh, Gomer, you must have heard of an amoebe. A-M-O-E-B-A. Amoebe. Oh, you mean amoeba. Yeah, well, that's what I said, Gomer. Oh, sometimes you just don't listen. If you're so smart, then where does your scientific magazine reckon the amoeba doesn't come from? Yeah, now... Well, that is just a little bit more difficult, Gomer. Now, as near as scientists can tell, it just happened. Just happened? How can anything as wonderful as life just happen? Yeah, well, maybe it were like this. Yeah, in the beginning when the Earth it were being formed, well, it were heaving and rocking, and one day stone fell off top of one of the mountains over yonder, and it fell down, it fell down, and it hit on another stone at the bottom of the mountain. Now, that made a big spark, Gomer, and maybe that big spark is how first life got started. Oh, that's hogwash, Jed. You're full of hogwash. Tain't hogwash, Gomer. This is the latest scientific magazine here. They tell everything in it. They tell about how, in the beginning, they were this big bang! And all of the stuff that the universe and planets and stars and everything is made out of, well, it done went hurtling off into space. Now, some of that stuff done got together in big clumps, and some of it got together in little small clumps. 
Now them big clumps, they started to heat up from gravitational pressure. And the small clumps, well, they started to rotate around the big clumps with gravitational attraction. Hold, hold it there, Jeff. What's the matter, Gomer? Oh, am I going too fast for you? Well, I can talk slower if you want me to. No, I'll take that, Jeff. I just wanted to hear how all that got started. Can you run that first bit by me again? Yeah, Gomer. You listen this time. In the beginning, Gomer, they were this big bang! And all of the stuff that the Hey, hold it, Jeb. Where did all that stuff come from? The stuff? Oh, well, it were always there, weren't it? Weren't it? Uh, hey, you know, that's a good question, Gomer. I hey, and where did they get the dynamite for the big bang? Oh, Gomer, there weren't no dynamite. Uh, he was just a big bang out in the middle of nothingness with no dynamite. You know, it seems to me it'd be just as easy for you to believe that God created everything as to believe in a big bang in the middle of nothingness with no dynamite. Hey, and Jeff, where all that stuff come from? Yeah, well, like I was saying, that's it's a rather good question, that Gomer. Yeah, I can't rightly say I'm sure about that. What about all them billions and billions and billions of years you talk about? Where did, where did time come from? Time? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, there's another good question. And where did, what about space? What about space itself? Where did space come from? Oh, come on, you go. Just when I have reckoned that I have got everything all figured out, you have got to come along and get me all confoozled again. Ain't nothing to get confoozled about, Jeb. Now, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and everything in them, because nothing else makes any sense. Oh, I don't know, Gomer. I reckon I'm going to have to go and have a think about all of this stuff. Yeah, well, hey, why don't you come along to church with me on Sunday? Church is a great place to meet lots of Christian folk and and learn about God and his son, Jesus. Oh, maybe, Gomer. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Yeah, well, maybe I'll just see how I feel on Sunday. Yeah, well, I reckon I'll be going now, Gomer, so yeah, I'll be seeing you. See you, Jed. <laughs>